Hello, so my name is Greg Belly, and for my capstone project, I set out to create an iPhone application that you could take with you on a roller coaster, and it would generate statistics about the roller coaster as you're riding. So, yeah, it's a very cool project. Every day, thousands of people ride these roller coasters, and many of these people have smartphones. And I thought a lot of these people would like to generate statistics about the ride right after they ride it, so they could see uh, what type of forces they felt while they were on the ride. My solution is to design an iPhone application using the various location-aware features of the iPhone, uh, such as the accelerometer or the gyroscope. So this project had two major parts. The first part was designing the iPhone application itself, and the second part was analyzing the data uh, that I would get from the iPhone. So here's the first part. This is the iPhone application that I created. Uh, the first screen you see when you open the application is the one on the left. Uh, and when you want to start recording, you just press that big start button. Once you do that, it'll start recording all the data from the accelerometer and the gyroscope. Once you hit the start button, it will save all that data to a file, and then it will start running the analysis on that file. Uh, you can also view previously recorded rides on the phone, and if you click on a ride or touch a ride, it will show the uh, information about that ride, such as when it was recorded, and uh, statistics about the ride. I also made it so that you could export the data from the ride, uh, just in case you wanted to uh, look at the raw data, uh, if you wanted to analyze it yourself. So the second part of the project was analyzing the data. To do that, I took the raw data and imported it into a spreadsheet. And inside the spreadsheet, I would start running my calculations. Uh, just as an example, here's one of the calculations that I was running just to get a single data point out of that um, raw data. Okay. Um, one problem I ran into, though, was that uh, small inaccuracies in the raw data would cause huge calculation errors. Um, this. Uh, graph right here shows a um, shows the phone moving in a perfect circle on the table. As you can see, it didn't quite match up at the end of the uh, rotation. Once you uh, once you uh, calculate gravity as well, <coughs> sorry. Once you calculate gravity as well, there's an even larger um, error. Uh, this shows a semicircle pressed up against a wall, and you can see that there's a slight bump on that left uh, graph. The right graph shows the same data, but modified for a drift in the rotation. This one here shows what uh, the first graph, the circle, looks like as a 3D representation of the same data. So before I started this project, I knew nothing about iPhone programming. So this, pro uh, this project taught me more about the iPhone frameworks, all the different APIs. Uh, another thing I learned that it's very important to do feasibility tests before you um, do a lot of your uh, work, because sometimes things just don't work out. Uh, what's next? One thing that I would like to do is transform this into a um, roller coaster ride tracker. So using the same uh, application, a lot of the same work I already did, you can transform it so that it can discover what ride you were just on based on GPS location. And I'd like to make it so that someone could take that application and see their ride history. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming to the Castor presentations. If you have any questions or just want to learn more about my project, uh, please visit me on 156. Thank you. <laughs>